Hi, I'm David. This is Lessons from a Decade of Listening. Um, now, if you've ever used any kind of anonymous feedback, whether that's surveys or you know, a tool like Harkin, you know, where people are fully engaging anonymously, here's a, a question for you. Do you find yourself labelling or assuming the identity of the people that are, are giving you feedback? Because that's something we've seen an awful lot of. It's quite interesting to me how... Uh, how often we'll come across organisations using surveys or indeed Harkin and, and we get that sort of message that, well, you know, it's just the usual moaners, it's the usual whiners, it's that labelling process that we can often do. Now, the labelling can be, of course, helpful if we're talking about emotions or labelling behaviours, but certainly not when it comes to people. And one of the things that really surprises me, or surprises our clients when we tell them about it, is, is just how frequently people will move about in their population, if that makes sense. So um, watching you know, a, a population where we're all sort of up and down, we're all having good days and bad days over time. So the people who are uh, easy to sort of assume as the moaners aren't the same people. It, it's, it's people having different experiences. It isn't the same group of people always telling us bad stuff. Actually, you know, when we label them like that, what we're doing is we're, we're sort of getting into a confirmation bias type space or we're certainly um, making it easy to ignore the feedback and we should avoid that at all costs. So instead, stay Ted Lasso, stay curious, not judgmental. Um, and, and lean into that feedback and, and try to understand what people are trying to tell you. Okay, hope that helps.